HbA1c is a very very important measurement in the assessing the status of the glucose control as well as in the diagnosis of diabetes. In the diagnosis of diabetes, the 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 very fact that the HbA1c is not affected by the fasting state, exercise status, or meal status, or any emotional status, or any recent rise in the blood glucose because of emotional stress or some stress induced by the uh, physical illness. So HbA1c remains similar way in the such circumstances because of the short lasting recent rises in the blood glucose. So HbA1c gives us a very good status of the diabetes of the over the long term life, life last two three months and hence it becomes a important tool in the diagnosis also when we cannot ask the people to come in the fasting state for example we are trying to assess the status of the diabetes prevalence in the organization in that case we we may, we may not ask the people to come in the fasting state and we can just ask means get the hb1c done for all the people who have come for our work and here there we can assess the prevalence of the diabetes in the people and another area where in the diagnosis of diabetes hba1c has is a very important tool is in the obstetric practice in obstetric practice suppose we find in early pregnancy if a lady is having uh, high blood glucose as and when we measure hba1c the hba1c is also high it means we come to know that this is a pre-existing diabetes rather than the diabetes induced by the rather than the high blood glucose induced by the pregnancy so that is a very very important information because a pre-existing diabetes has got a significant incidence of congenital anomalies and this is regarding the diagnosis part regarding the glycemic control part it is a well established thing that whenever we see that the hba1c is beyond our certain limits it has got a predilection for certain long term complications of diabetes and uh, this uh, because hba1c is not influenced by the recent intracranial illness or recent stress so we can come to know even if even if a patient comes to us our, to our hospital because of some cardiac ailment because of infections and his blood glucose is raised but at the, at the same time hba1c normal we can come to know that the the glucose status otherwise has been okay for last 2 3 months this is just a temporary rise and similarly when a patient comes to us with the uh, blood glucose levels which are done and they are found to be okay but at the same time when we find that hba1c is high we come to know that this patient before coming to us has been very regular in the diet control exercise and in medication otherwise the control is not good so hba1c is a very very important tool for us uh, in uh, assessing the control of the diabetes you can't exercise if your diabetes is a very big myth rather exercise has got multiple benefits including cardiovascular risk reduction reduced blood pressure maintenance of the muscle mass reduction in the body fat and weight loss it also increases the insulin sensitivity the myth has possibly been generated because of the increased risk of high hypoglycemia in people with type 1 diabetes and also in those people who are having long standing type 2 diabetes where the insulin reserve of the body has gone down and the patient and and hence is on the uh, exogenous insulin for the control of the blood sugar in, in a non diabetic person there is a incre- when there is a increased utilization of blood glucose uh, by exercise uh, there is a uh, tendency for the blood glucose to go down but at same time this decrement in the blood glucose is blunted by decrease in the insulin level because of the glucose regulatory mechanism of the body but when we supply insulin from outside that is exogenous insulin this glucose regulatory mechanism does not hold hold and hence the uh, exogenous insulin goes on working and brings down the uh, uh, blood sugar and there is a risk of hypoglycemia even in these people the uh, uh, exercise is not banned but they have to do 
take certain precautions while exercising means they have to they check their blood glucose before they go for exercise and if the blood glucose is below 100 mg they have to postpone their exercise and it is advisable that they take uh, carbohydrate uh, before they go for exercise so means uh, exercise is not banned but they have to take precautions only in one situation where exercise is relatively contraindicated is a, when a person with diabetes is having proliferative retinopathy that is a advanced form of retinal changes that is eye changes because of diabetes there when the proliferative retinopathy is there the exercise has got a increased predilection for causing vitreous hemorrhage and retinal detachment so there the uh, till the time the retinal the proliferative retinopathy is treated the patient should abstain from exercise otherwise exercise is very very good for diabetics in general